What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I'm both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video we are going to be a nerdy collector. Earlier this year, I think it was back in January, um, the Hut Group slash Zbox slash Zavi um, did a deal on t-shirts. I think it was about 30 quid for 10 or 20 t-shirts. Uh, they've done another deal where it's 10 t-shirts for £19.99 and I paid £5.99 for an additional mystery gift. So, I've already opened up the box because it's the Hut Group and they like to give us loads of junk. So, we have a bag full of t-shirts. And this is potentially our mystery gift. So, it is a Looney Tunes show micro figure in display box okay and it is 25 okay that's quite cool and well if it's six quid I'm not quite sure but there's a little cheat sheet let's just move that over to there so cheat sheet available there is Bugs Bunny Daffy Duck Porky Pig Sylvester Tweety Pie Roadrunner Wolfie C Wiley Coyote sorry Taz, Speedy Gonzalez, and Yosemite Sam. Worth six pounds? Nah. They made it sound like it was going to be like some like really nice mystery geeky thing. Um, the reviews for it were quite decent, but six pounds? Really? I couldn't justify spending six pounds on this. So let's put his bits all together that's a sentence I thought I'd be saying on this Saturday morning um, I can't get his legs on and then his head goes on to there wow this is really stiff I need to push him down I'm not having him like that internet meme guy with the really big neck Six pound? Really? So, t-shirts. Um, there'll be a link down in the description below if you want to pick up uh, said t-shirts. Uh, this is Mystery Geek T-shirts 10-pack men's large. So, let's just rip it open. There's a lot of bright colours in here. Okay, right, let's just stick it down. We'll pull one out. We'll have a look. And it is, I'll show you guys first. I'm not quite sure this blue, but it is. Be excellent to each other. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. You know what? That's not bad. It's a Loot Crate t-shirt as well. So it's obviously one of the ones I didn't get, but yeah, an official Loot Crate t-shirt for two pounds. Yes, please. Next up, I've seen the, the name of the franchise. It's Back to the Future. And it's really bright. And it is an official Back to the Future t-shirt. That's wicked. Two pounds for that. That's nice. Not bad at all. We have... Oh, it's what I've already got. So this is a Power Rangers one. Admittedly, the Power Rangers one that I've got, I do wear quite often. That's a huge large. Jesus, that must be like an American large because that, that ain't fitting on me. Um, I must have a medium. Jesus Christ, look at the size of it. So that, this is going into the giveaway pile. Um, I know what I'm doing with the giveaways now. So I'll let you guys know when they start. It's again, one that I got last time. Again, it's one that I do wear on a semi-regular basis. It is the Deadpool Tacos T-shirt. Two pounds, um, I was happy when I paid three pounds for one. So to get one for two pounds, again, I'm still happy. But it does also appear to be on the larger side. But again, it's a T-shirt I have. So that's going into the giveaway. Right, next T-shirt. We have, okay, we don't have this one. It is a Fantastic Beasts t-shirt. So no doubt this will be going to my other half. And it looks a little something like 
this. Become an Obliviator. Recruiting now. Every half moon of the month. I've not seen the second Fantastic Beast film. Um, we were in Australia when it was released and we just never got around to going to the cinema, which is really annoying. But that is a wicked t-shirt. Two pound. Uh, yeah, my other half can wear that as like a lounge around the house type thing. Right, next t-shirt we have. Okay, oh, it's a Black Ops 3. I'm not really a fan of the Black Ops series. Although I have played Black Ops 2 or 3. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's not one I'm going to wear. So again, that is going into the give, giveaway. Would help if I could speak properly. But yeah, that is going in brand new with a tag as well. £2, well spent. Right, next t-shirt. This bag is getting quite empty. So we have, uh, again, it's another t-shirt that I've got already. So it is an official Loot Crate one. Again, I think I might be a medium, you know, because I don't think that's going to fit me. But it's a t-shirt that I've got, so again, it's going in the giveaway. £2. Love it. If, honestly, if you want to pick up this deal for yourself, 20 quid for, like, 10 t-shirts. Mystery Santa. Easy. Next t-shirt we have uh, Mr. Robot. I don't think I ever finished watching Mr. Robot. But that's cool. Uh, this is a Loot Crate one, I think, or is this a Zabby one? No, it is a Loot Crate one. So, to be honest, it's not really going to be a t-shirt I'm going to wear. Um, but yeah, the, the Mr. Robot mask with society on the bottom. Again, two quid. All right, reaching into my very empty sack. And we have... Two t-shirts I've just pulled out. Okay, let's stick that one up there. And this one is... Oh, Far Cry. Believe it or not, I've never played a Far Cry game. I probably should. Um, but uh, I might wear this one. Hmm, that's in the maybe pile. Not too sure yet. Right then, our last t-shirt um, kind of gives it away just through seeing this bit. It is a Transformers t-shirt. And it is, I think this was actually one of the Zabby's ones. But, again, that is huge. Or is it just looking big? Let me just try it on quickly. You know what, it's not that bad. I don't like when t-shirts come out really wide, but, yeah, that's not too bad. It's a Power Rangers, not a Transformers, you absolute donut. Uh, would I wear it? I, I'm not too sure. Um, again, that's another one for the maybe pile. And the very last item is something completely different. Now, I'm a sucker for um, adverts on Facebook. There was an advert for um, a Christmas geeky t-shirt, sweater even. So I ended up buying myself one and my other half one. Something's making sounds in here. Uh, these were £35 each. I've not actually opened it yet so um when it comes to christmas sweaters i'm a little bit of um a bit of a scrooge um i've i don't think i've ever worn a christmas jumper in my adult life so with now being stuck in a marriage um i thought yeah it's probably a good time to start wearing christmas jumpers so as i say i bought myself one and i bought my other half one let's get it open first and see which one it is i think this is my one yeah this one's mine and it is a Spider-Man one. So, no idea what quality is going to be like. I don't even know how it should feel like. Oh, that's quite soft. Doesn't smell particularly great. Um, I might have to sneakily wash this when my other half is out. But, 35 quid, and I can actually wear a Christmas jumper. Can I get away with this being a Christmas jumper? So, obviously, I've got myself the Spider-Man one. I've got my, my wife a Wonder Woman one. Um, because, yeah, it's the only sort of girly one um, which I thought that she would wear. So, yeah, that's not bad. Um, might as well stick it on. Ta-da! So, yeah, um, it's actually not that uncomfortable. Um, I'm not a massive fan of jumpers that are, well, to me, anything long-sleeved apart from jackets because I don't like having 
something up, up against my arms all the time. Um, I'm always in short sleeved, even when they are long sleeved, I tend to roll it all up when I can. But you know what? For my first ever Christmas jumper as an adult male, it's not that bad. Um, I would have preferred an Iron Man one, but the ones that I could find online weren't the greatest. But I will leave a link down to Merchoid down below. Um, you guys now know the, the quality of the t-shirt. It feels nice. It's not too heavy. Um, it's not too rough on your skin as well. It feels good. £35. I think I've just earned myself a load of brownie points. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.